And here we go. We'll see. <coughs> we'll see how things go tonight. I um <laughs> Oh good, it is loading. Um yeah, I before we got started tonight, I went and took a look at my files on Steam because for some reason the game has been like crashing at the end. So it's not during the game, but when I close it out, it goes to like a uh, failure screen. And I said, well, you know, I ought to verify my files before I get started tonight. Just, just to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And yeah. 1,036 files were not correct. It had to be reloaded. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully everyone can hear me. I'm waiting for the chat bot to join so I can reset my death counter because, you know, died twice last. There he is. Hello, stream elements. Let's go ahead and fix that problem before we get started tonight. Get some war music going. That'll be cool. If that works. Sound coming through okay? Hope so. Fingers crossed. saying I'm going to write down the commands. Because, you know, sometimes you just forget stuff. Hey, Gail, how we doing? Thanks for stopping in tonight. Apparently the bot doesn't want to reset my desk. Let's try this one more time. Maybe with an S. Sound working all right for you, Gail? Well, the counter on the screen will be right. I, one of these days, I can, I'll, I'll remember to write down what the name of the death counter reset is, where I can actually remember where it is. I know I wrote it down. Oh, there it is. Reset death. Yeah, that's what I typed. Nothing happened. Right again. Maybe the bot was asleep. I mean, I did type it like right when he got here. Maybe he's like everyone else and it's just too freaking hot to work today. Did you note on my screen? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Yay. It was, I was right the first time. He was just being stubborn. He's like, oh no, no, we're going to keep those deaths. 
Well, it's magic time. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, guess what? Um, so after the tragedy of last week, when I got to the island and um died after swimming all that way, um, yeah. I got back to the other island. I was like, nope, nope. I'm not making everybody watch me rebuild a boat and get back out here. So I built a boat and I launched it and took off. Unfortunately, the wind was not in my favor. So I did not make it to the island, which might even be that island over there. I don't think it is though. I think it's, a, it's, it's, a, we're in another quadrant. See, this is where we're at. Um, we'll go to Atlas. This is where we sank last time. <laughs> and this is where we swam from all the way out there to right dumb islands. Yeah. And then I got killed. Oh, no, I didn't get killed. I got, um, I died of heat stroke. That's what it was. I got there. So I'm all that way, even with no stamina and got to the beach. Hey, Brummy, how's it going? And then I, you know, it was too hot and I died of heat stroke. So then I had to start all the way back over. I did start on this island instead of going back up here. And I started to go that way. And then the wind was not working. And so I just, I was like, okay, screw it. I'll go over here. And I think this is where Getty told me to start with anyway, was the 3.7 islands. Maybe it was UK. I can't remember. Um, you know, cause it's been a week and that's not a May. My memory doesn't last that long. So... <laughs> But anyway, we're here. We're on Brace Pool Holm. Guess what it says? Brace Pool Holm on this tip of the island. And really cool uh, coincidence. If you look, the first video thumbnail that I did for for the restart, that's that's the skull from from the video uh, from the um yeah thumbnail. It's not. I wasn't here. I mean, I got it from. <laughs> <laughs> an older version of Atlas that I had played before, but yeah, so we're here. We're actually at the Island that I would love to have been at to start with. And, and it's a real Island. Um, and I was going to, um, I was gonna uh, see, I've already discovered it. I did jump off cause I wanted to find out I were, what I didn't want to do because these skulls, a lot of times are on the Freeport islands and, and the Freeport Island is one that I got away from because um, of this stuff. See on the Freeport Island, if I went over and I hit a rock, I would get stone. But in this Island, I get limestone, basalt and iron metal, which is what we need to make our better tools and all that kind of good stuff. And if I hit the trees, I should get some sort of wood. Yep. Fur, we get coconuts. I got fronds. This is a real Island. Now the problem, oh, come on. E. There we go. I don't want to beat up the straw. And this is straw. Cool. So we got we we've got resources here. Now this is a real island. So I am assuming that there's going to be pirates on here because if you look at the map, all these islands are 3.7 and they have this little, you know, piratey skull and crossbones cross saber thing. And that means there's there's pirates on here that will, you know, murderize me. So. I have to make sure that I find their base and take them out before they get me, you know, besides dodging snakes and tigers and all that other good stuff. So that's, so that's part of the, the, the opportunity <laughs> that we will have on this Island. Um, but we're going to need to make a, a, you know, a base place, not we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to put a little place down that I can put a bed in and a forge and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do that. I was going to, you know, I, I put the, the comment out in the community section to see if people wanted, um, you know, what is that? Is that something moving? Make sure snakes are not coming up here. Um, oh, that's a plant. What is this? Hmm. I, I have no control over my attention span disappearing. I don't guess that's anything. Okay. You can't pick it up anyway. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, of whether I should just go ahead and build a base and, and then, you know, we could start from there. I don't know what that is. Oh, anyway, 
And the comments came back that said, oh, let's, you know, we want to see what you do to build a base. So I'm going to do that. We're going to build a base tonight. Um, and then I also got a comment from Indy Wood Tiger, who said they put the mods that I have on the server, which in the description below is the link to the video that shows all my settings and all the mods that I have running. And they said they were having a problem with uh, one of the very important skills, which is captain earring. And if you look, the skill progression in, in, in Atlas is under the skill box, but you know, we, we kind of looked touched on these as I started to build my stuff up last time, but you build, you got your survival and then your basic building and then beast mastery, which we explored a little bit. And then your fighting stuff and your archery and shooting stuff and your armor and I think that's medicine and then like artillery and then seamanship and then captaineering. And usually you go, you can unlock both of these separately, but I believe because of the way the mods are set up that it's actually through the seamanship one. So to get to seamanship, we're going to, we're going to try it out right this minute because I want to answer the question for myself too, <clears throat> because when I played single player before, I didn't have a problem with getting to captain earring. Um, and, and captain earring has the basic stuff you need. You got to get the ship resource box and you need, uh, well, you don't need it, but the ship repair podium is so nice. So we want to get there. So we need to get there some kind of way. So we're going to find out how you get there. So I think if we go to construction and we go to, I think it's through the architect as you go to where's, where's, uh, bum, 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 bum. we're going to scroll down. We're going to figure this thing out here. Um, melee. No, where's it at? Where's it at? Down here somewhere. There we go. Seamanship. So that's there. I got a lot of points. I got 248 points to spend. So I'm pretty sure I can get here. So what we're going to do is we got to just kind of backtrack a little bit and we're going to go, um, this is double a woodworking. And then we're going to go up here and this gets to architect. And then this gets to metalworking and this comes up to woodworking and that goes to architect. Okay. So we're going to get the architect one. And then we can get this one and I'm going to spend all these points and it won't work. And then I'm going to feel like a dummy. That's okay. Cause we're sciencing this out for someone who's playing the game and wants to be able to get the stuff. And that's important. Um, one up here, woodworking, get to woodworking. We need this one woodworking and seamanship. Okay, we unlock seamanship. Uh oh. It didn't unlock captain's captainry. Uh, that's a problem here. All right, so we have to be able to do that. All right, we're gonna have to figure this out because we're gonna um we're gonna find out that we can't can't do much. As far as uh well, you know, we can do stuff, we just can't get our crew ranked up, which is something that you really need to be able to do. All right, so there's a way. There's got to be a way to do this. I'll have to figure it out. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get our base done, and um, and in the process, we're gonna start ranking some stuff up, and maybe we'll we'll find it. Um, here. See, it says if I look it up and I put captainry, unlocks captain captain earring. Is if I click on it, down to here, peace mastery, but it's not here. That's a problem. We've got piracy unlocked. We've got beast mastery unlocked. It's just not here. That's that's an issue. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it is, but you know, it's no worse than Conan or I mean Ark is a little bit simpler to deal with. Um but but Conan is just as redonkulous and it's going to get worse because with the 3.0 upgrade, you're going to have corruption and 
um, skills and achievements and abilities and all the other stuff that you're going to have to work your way through. So, all right, so we're, we're going to, we got to figure this out. Captain of Renown, that's not it. Additional figurehead storage. See if I click on this, it goes to survivalism. I mean, I can click on these things, but they don't lead to anything. Well, let's do it. Let's do dinghy sale. Right? That still didn't do anything. Just one point. Um, big water. Well, that's not it. Cooking and farming. We're going to need that anyway. Nope, that still didn't unlock it. Hmm. How many points do I have? Oh, I got lots of points. Let's spend some points. Let's do that. Let's let's get this question answered. Because it's important. Captain Aaron. Every time I click on it, it takes me here, which means nothing because it's not here. No, that doesn't go there. Got piracy. All right. Well, all this stuff is not really relevant. Okay, so let's there construction. There's got to be some. Hmm. We're gonna need the clinger stuff. So do that. This. Mm-hmm. More of the clinger stuff. Really don't need to go into that much detail for clinger. We do need ranged weaponry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock all these. That way we'll know where it's at. Um, we're gonna unlock armory. We're gonna unlock weaponry. Demon ship is unlocked. Artillery. Don't need to get that yet. Awesome. Mula. Maybe not. Let's... Yeah. All right. We unlock that. Don't need medicine. No point in getting that right now. Alrighty then. This one does not lead to captaineering. Hmm. RC? Nope. Um, Wes. So the only thing we haven't been able to open up is Captain Earring. I'm going to have to research this because there's, there should not be that problem. And I don't, it's, it's got to be something with a recent update for the mod since I played single player last, but that's been, you know, I want to say probably wandering around here with no weapons or nothing. Oh, I got on my bow. I have, do I have arrows? Yes. Um, yeah, we got to figure that out because we need those. We need to be able to do that. And if there's a mod that's conflicting, that's causing this problem, then I'm going to have to remove that and put a note in the video that I did on mod. Ooh, there's, there's something there. We're going to grab this because it's got gold in it. I would be willing to bet. And it's not that far out. What's that? Is that a chicken? Hello, chicken. You're, you're a male chicken. You're our meat is what you are. Arrow back. Let's get this box. I don't think there's going to be anything bad out here. No, it's not deep enough. Well, it's deep enough, let's be honest, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, wow. It's really deep right there. Come on. We can do it. If anything... Hey there, Chief Rocky. How we doing? We got lucky last time and didn't get eaten by sharks. We're trying to get over here, but I don't know if we want to push a lot too much. Wow, it is really deep there. This would be a great place for a pier. Um, so we are... That's just bottom. Okay, so we got elephants here. I don't... Is that a baby elephant? 
What is that? Oh, monkey. I lost my monkey last time. This bottle. All right, let's get this monkey real. Cause he'll help us out, you know, cause we, we need somebody to, oh, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. I can't, hold on, how big is he? I need to get some crystal so I can make a spyglass and see what we got. Oh, a level 12, he should be easy. There we go. Have a have a blackberry monkey. I've got lots of them. Can't wait for him to get. I don't really want his poo, but um. So it looks like over in the distance we have bulls. So there should be cows on this island. Uh, I thought I saw. Yeah, there's an elephant over there. They're little bitty pygmy elephants because the mobs. I don't really like that. I wish I could. Well, I could. I go in the I and I files and. Um, this is a, what is this? Is this a male or a female monkey? Man or woman? Oh, this is a lady monkey. So what should we call the lady monkey? Thank you. I appreciate it, chief. Always happy to have somebody stop in. Even if it's just for a little while. Um, let's see. This is, um, Wendy. Okay. Wendy, you shall be. Let's see. Options. Change name to. Oops. Not E. Wendy. Wendy the monkey. I'm going to put folders in Wendy because she's a level 17 and she probably is not going to last very long. But let's go explore in a little bit. Let's just see what we got over here. Where would be a good spot to just start building? It's not near a bunch of piraticals that'll attack me. This might be actually a good spot because there's a, oh, there's a cow. Hello, cow. We need you. We need milk. Come on, cow. Cows are passive, so we can just walk up to them just like we did the monkeys, and we can tame them with uh, probably berries. <gasps> no. Oh, yes, yes. Come here. Stop. Back, back, back. Oh, come on. There. Ooh. He's a big cow. Level 48. Might take me a little bit um, to tame this cow. But that's okay. Then she'll be, you know, sturdier. Uh, and I can keep watching for whatever else is out here. I got to figure out. Are you playing, uh, Chief, are you playing Atlas with the same mod stack that I've got on here? I don't know if you've watched the other video, but I, the question came up in the comments about captain nearing and and the the fact that it's not there um and i went back and looked and sure enough i can't find how to get to captain nearing and that's kind of important all right brummy you get a good rights rest thanks for stopping by i know it's late 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 for you Remy's in the UK. It's hot over there. You know, this this is crazy the way that everybody's... Okay, no mods for you. Yeah, I got to figure that out. I'm going to have to start pulling things off to figure out why it's not showing up. Something is... It remaps some of the, the achievements to do some of those extra mods, and I think there's a conflict that's keeping it from showing up. But it's just odd that it's... Not showing up because all the other paths are working fine. Got a couple. Is that it's another chicken? Uh, nine seconds to feed again, and then we will have a cow. Oh, female chicken. We're gonna tame all kind of stuff before we get our base built. Up, oh, come back here. There we go. What should our cow be named? Yeah, I would think. I got to figure out what's going on. Um, we are going to call this cow. <laughs> no problem, Chief. I completely understand. 
Uh, we're going to call the cow Cleo. How about that? That'll be good. Cleo to cow. Oh, Betsy. <laughs> Fine. I can rename her. I know how to do that. You can rename people or people. Yeah. You can rename your teams. You just can't rename your ship for some reason. That's just stupid. I, I, all this years that this game has been going on and you still can't rename your ship if you screw that up. We're going to call her Bessie. All right. Bessie it is. Um, Bessie. Um, did I lose my chicken? Eat eggs. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, she was mad at me because I didn't feed her. Three seconds. You got a bowl with berries? Okay. Chicken. And we're going to... I know. I got her. Mother. Fucker. One. We will have more than one chicken. Eat eggs. All right. We have a chicken. Uh, why? Oh, I got the that's I got a monkey on my back. I wonder if I can do that. Let's see. Oh no, there's a bowl of tame for the cow here. I mean, for the bull here. All right, y'all, come on back here to where it's safe. We're going back towards the 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 ship here. This is really a pretty flat area right here, and as I'm not seeing anything like tigers yet, might be a good place to start. There's, there's trees. There's all kind of resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After you pull at them. Bula. All right, let's uh let's do this. Why don't we just let's do we're building here. We're building right here. This'll work. Plenty of room. This is really deep right here, I think. There's no water here. That's the only problem. But, you know, that's what they make rain barrels for. Uh, ooh, it is kind of a ways out here. Uh, maybe we should go down a little bit further. Because you got to have deep water to put a, put a dock in or else... I'm, I got my animals following me, don't I? Yep! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Betsy. You know you needed to cool off. I think that's that's something that we all should keep into uh, in in consideration right now. Is you need to stay hydrated. Very important. Very very important. All right, we're gonna we're gonna walk on down. All right, chicken. I'm sorry, can't carry you. I think you and the cow are gonna have to stay here because I just we're just gonna stop. Y'all stop right there and just stay because there's no telling what dangers await as we go in here. And I'll probably die. We don't need the bulls. I don't have bolas yet. I don't have anything set up yet. We're just exploring to see what's out here. In a dark soon. That'll be a good time to start building. Uh, hello, Mr. Elephant. 48 elephant. Not bad. I think, I think 150 is where we top out on vanilla tames I think we'll find out as we get you know I, I don't want to see a tiger because that would be bad how deep is it over here dark that's a map we'll grab that I swim out here and see how deep, how long the shallows go. Ah, uh, still not really great. Well, here's a good spot. It's not awesome. It's not like you can pull right. Ooh. Oh yeah. See, that's what I'm looking for. A big drop off, not too far from um from shore. Because when it's when it's away from shore, you just gotta paint the butt. I think probably further down is where I'm going to end up having to go. And I'll bring the boat around when I need to. Right now, I'm not really worried about dying because I have a bed on the boat. And then we're going to get started building. Hey, NGP, how's it going, dude? Thanks for coming by. Hey, Dax. What island am I on? I am on... Um, uh, I am on... 
race pool home in C8, which is <laughs> not that far away from the Power Stone Islands. So when I start getting old, I can go get, you know, healed up. I kind of would love to build, you know, I really ought to just go around and take a look at where the, the skull is because it looks so cool. Um, and then I can like build a house underneath there. That'll be a cool place. And I can look up and see the skull every day. Cause that'll remind me of how many times I died. All right. I'm, I'm burning through all my calories, aren't I? Yeah, probably, probably a bad idea. Okay. We're going to grab, what is this? This looks like metal. Oh, let it be metal. Nighter. Okay. That's not what I thought it would be, but that's all right. We'll need coal anyway. Nighter's coal, right? I think. Yeah. It's either coal or, you know, sulfur. One of those two, I think. I don't know. I'm not a chemist. <laughs> uh, stream bot. Jesus. Leave people alone. All right. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to pick up our, I don't know if we're going to pick up our animals or not. It's a long way to go. Yeah, we can. Let's pick them up. We'll put them in the boat and then we'll sail over to the skull. See if there's a nice spot build there. Why would that be where the pirates are? That'll be, that'll be where it's going to, that'll happen. But what's life without a little danger? That's an adventure, right? We're, 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 we're adventuring. All right, Chief, take care. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, I want to go over there. Bet there's a good beach over there. It leads off into the deep water. And there's probably a pool of fresh water over there somewhere, too. Just just thinking there might be. Poor chicken is going, what the heck are you doing to me? Why, why do you always make me run behind you? I have little bitty legs. Fatten them up. Might need to have you for dinner. Depends on how things go. Going slow. I'm walking. I'm not running. <laughs> I want to have to go back and get this. Poor chicken. All right, we get up here. We'll throw the monkey in the boat. Potassium nitrate. Okay. That's what you use for gunpowder? Saltpeter, right? I know stuff. All right, you hang out right there. Oh, hey, hey. Whoa. Um, really didn't invite you aboard, but you do need to get on, so. Let's see. Get on the boat. Move on to. Come on. Did the monkey follow me? Seriously? Come here. Come here. All right, we need to get you on the boat. Why well, won't he get on the boat? All right, well, we'll do it the hard way then. Did it once, we'll do it again. I think these boats are going to make you follow me really close. Probably going to be a little bit dangerous. No, medium, low. And I just got to remember to take him off follow when I get in here or else bad day for me. Come on. Come on. You did. You did. There we go. Now I'm inside the cow. Lay down. Crawl out. Nope. I can't get out of the cow. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I might be able to get on the... Nope. This is not good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do what we do in arc, which is you whistle. Um, no. there, go over there. You're not letting. Me... Oh, come on, Cal. Yeah, I know I can't dig for. Board. All right, 
We got it. We got to We got to remedy this situation. Back that way. There we go. All right. At least you're off of me now. Um, you know what? You're just going to have to wait because there's not enough room in this boat for you and me both. <laughs> you doing dumb. Oh, there we go. Go. There. Now she's on. Right in my freaking way. All right. Chicken. <laughs> there he is. Hey, chicken. Look at you. You are a trooper. All right. We'll take you on. I can't, I can't leave you after you've done so, such a good job of, I think I can climb up. We'll see. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's, it's awesome trying to get on freaking boats. Nope, can't do it with the chicken. All right, chicken. Put you over here. See if I can make you. There. Go on the boat. There we go. Go on the boat. There. Now all the livestock is aboard. Jump over the cow. There we go. All right. Um, we're going to raise the sail. Need a bit this way so we can catch some wind. And we're going over there. Right. Um, w. Yep. <laughs> hey, look, how's it going, man? Yeah, we're going to go over here where the skull is. It's, like I said, there's got to be fresh water over here. That's what I'm thinking. That's a better situation. It'll give us a chance to take a look at the island critters as we go around. Not seeing much but elephants and cows and bulls. That's, that's a good thing. I'm doing pretty good, dude. Oop, rocks, rocks, rocks. Cannot complain. Figure, you know, as hot as it is, we should do something out on the ocean today. Sea breeze. Nice water to swim in. There's an awful lot of rocks around this island. Oh yeah, I'm hot. I know. Little sip of iced tea. Okay, I see. I don't know. Maybe that's not a. That might be a parrot over there. Hopefully, there's crystal here and I can get spyglass going. That'd be good. If I opened up my other sail, I could go faster, but then I got two sails to mess with and a fire in the middle of it, and that's probably not going to end well for me. Just, just saying. Wait a minute. That looks like a Freeport type place. What? What the, what the, what? Okay. Well, this should be a pretty tame island to have a base on. Maybe that's why I'm not seeing any pirates. Because usually you see like a uh, little, that little skull and crossbone thing on the island about where they are. Maybe... Maybe I dodged a bullet on this island. This could be a good base of operations in this area. Oh, there goes my wind. This around this way. I gotta give me some sailors. At least one better sail. Watch, I'll get around this corner and there'll be pirates over there and they're just going to blast me. 
<laughs> need a crew. Train, train the ah, train the chicken. That'd be easier. Crew is expensive. And the other reason I don't really want this to be a Freeport Island is because usually at Freeport Islands, if you stay, then it makes your stuff decay faster. Yeah, because it they they want you to move on. They don't want you to sit here at the free porch. I don't think this is. I don't know what this is. Because that's oh, oh, am I stuck? That's not good. Come on. Don't let me get stuck in it. Uh, here we go. All right, we're moving. We're moving. Oh, look at that. There's fresh water there. Oh, yeah. This is going to be home. I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to be home. I'm not going to cheese out and just use one of these buildings. Well, I could. I don't think. Well, no, there's the dude. This is a free port. What the heck? This is not supposed to be a free port. All right, well, as long as I can get resources, I don't care if it's free port or not. I just want to get to a place where I can do some plundering and things. But we're not going to we're not going to stay over here because there's no way I can get out of out of in and out of this cove with anything bigger than this. If I find enough gold, I'd get me um this is so bad. I got no win now. Can I even get, is this a, let me on the wheel. Oh, I'm having a, I'm having a fear that there's no way out of this. <laughs> this is just a turnaround. That's not good. That's not going to be very efficient way use of my time here. Yep, it's a dead end. Really? I'm gonna go through there. Straight ahead. Dang it. Dang it. Alright, we're turning around. We're getting we're turning this car around. I thought this was gonna be a really cool island and we could have like you know a good setup here but I evidently not well I what I am gonna do since this is a Freeport Island um, I am gonna at least put a bed down here because I don't know how long it'll last but considering the issue we had last week where I got my boat blown out from underneath of me uh oh Let's go. Get on the wheel. Hurry. Hurry. We don't want to repeat of that. Right? Because that would be heartbreaking. wonder, is there a free port in every one of these places? Huh. Alright. I, I don't really want to be here. Get me out of here. So get this other sale going. Otherwise, we may be here a while. Uh, uh, hurry up! Get the rock. The rocks are in front of you. Get out of the way. Parrots.
because I think this will be at least a safe enough place where we can put down a little fob forward operating base. That's what that stands for. Oh, now we're stuck on a sandbar. Wanted. Um, and we can just, you know, we just, it's just going to be a one by one place with a bed in it, but at least we'll be able to, um, to respawn here in case we don't make it to the next island. Feeling good about it though. I'm thinking we're going to make it because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be positive. If more people were positive, less people would be negative. That's a fact. <laughs> All right. We're going to chop down a tree. So we can get some basic resources and we can put a bed down here. Can I craft a foundation? Sure, I can. Floor. We're going to put this floor down. I don't need a thatch floor. Can I make better floor than that? Come on. Got to be able to make tools or skill points. Um, uh, Where do I get to like build good stuff? Handyman, repair hammer, paintbrush, brake burner. That's, oh, that's what I need. Okay, so I do have to have this. Get this. Hey, we got those two opened. What is this? This is just makes you so you can build faster. I don't care about that. Ship steering wheels. They'll probably be important at some point. We're going to need this stuff. We're going to need this stuff. Fuck stuff. It doesn't cost anything. Um. repair bonus don't need any of that junk yet need that stuff yet I've already got that open don't need any of that stuff okay don't need that stuff but I should be able to build now a um wow that's got a lot of stuff in it that's that's different than it used to be. I like that. That looks cool. Alchemy. Yeah, we need a more pestle. Need we don't really need a watch down. Okay. I'm going blazing through points now. Um do I have any points? Oh yeah, I got us do some fortitude. Because don't want to die of the cold and the heat anymore. All right. Um, okay, so now we're going to... Yeah, now we can build stuff. We can build lore that's made out of wood. Floor, floor, floor. There. Just sit right there. And then I can put a bed on it. Bed. Probably don't have any skin. Uh, simple bed. Go. Oh, look, I can make a hammock. That's cool. That's new. That's... Okay, so we have a bed. So now we can respawn at this island. If all things go heck in a handbasket, not that I'm thinking it will, not, not that I'm, 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 you know, I'm up, op I'm optimistic. I'm not a negative Nancy, but just in case. Cow, this is really not the best place. But we got our cow, we got our chicken, we got our monkey. We are invincible. Yep. Well, not really invincible, but we, we got to start. <laughs> we got to start somewhere. All right, so we are going to get on the sail and launch this puppy out into the wonderful world of Atlas. Other sail going. I gotta put this fire out so I don't burn alive. Put out fire. 
Put out fire. Put out fire. There. I have no idea where I'm going. Um, while I'm screwing around with the fire. Okay. Now. Hello, chicken. All right. We're going to get away from the rocks, and then I'm going to make a hard left, I think, because the wind will take us that direction. And that should get us, I'm thinking, to this island over here, which is a pirate island, because you can see the little thing right there, the skull and crossbone, that says there's pirates here. If I can get there without angering... I don't like that island though because it's that same one that you know what i'm not going there. yeah i am because wind will take me forever to get the wind the other ones i think yeah because oh i'm going the wrong freaking way yeah that's not the island we're going to we're going to go to this island not that island The chicken! It's the chicken of the sea! Just the sails again, because that's what you gotta do when you got no sailors. <clears throat> My crew doesn't have thumbs, so, you know, have to do what I gotta do. Do the sales myself. Would that be would that be awesome if my well my monkey has thumbs, but you know, he's a little guy. I think he'd be very good at climbing up there and adjusting the sails. But the cow and the chicken, they do not have thumbs. There's the island. I don't like that island. Really don't like that island. But I can see that island and the wind is good for me to get to that island so that's the island we're going to maybe we'll see i'm hoping that we get there without getting blown up if we get blown up this time yeah <laughs> we got um we got distractions for the sharks because we got a cow and chicken and a monkey for the sharks to go after instead of me. That's horrible. I'm a bad person. I'm really not. I'm a nice guy. I really am. I, what is that ahead of me? What in the world is that in the water? Is there... Is that ships over to the right? If that's, if that's that many ships that are that close together, I am so screwed. Let's see. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm just kidding, but if this is good, if, if this is the gold, I'm in. <laughs> we got to get over to an island that we can build on. It's got resources. The one back there had some resources. I, I can't, can't fault it. It's a decent island, but it didn't have yeah i you know second now i'm thinking about it, i should have probably just built a base there but if i get over here i can take over these islands with the from the pirates and then i can really start getting some loots i don't know what that is is that it looks like an like a outcropping of rocks but i'm afraid of what it might be Because according to the atlas, if I look at the atlas, I'm heading straight to the islands. And it says I'm not. <laughs> I'm going in between them. So what the heck am I sailing to? That scares me over there to the right. I just don't know what that is. Maybe it's an island. Like a key. That'd be, uh, maybe that's what it is. And that's a big island and that's just a little one. If I go that way and it's ships, <laughs> not going to make it. <clears throat> Maybe as I get closer, I'll be able to tell. There are little islands on here. When I was, uh, was I playing official back in the day, 
I'm going for it. I'm going to go see what this is. Um, I was in a, I was in a company cause they call them companies in this game, not tribes or clans or that kind of stuff, but it's companies. And, um, I was in a company we, that was called the rock people. <laughs> oh, look, that looks, that looks intimidating. What the heck is that? That looks like trouble is what that looks like. Oh, great. Um, and I got a feeling I'm gonna get blown out of the water. Um, yeah, so we were we were called the Rock People because, uh, on official Dark Sovereign, great. That's the guy that sunk me last time. I need to land over here. Um, yeah, get finish the story, Yuli. Jesus. Um, yeah, so we were called Rock People because on PVE on official. It was to the point where all the land was taken and you could do these land claims, but you could also do water claims. So, so you, not only were you claiming your Island, but you claimed all the water around it and it was horrible. I mean, it really was. And, uh, and so the, the tribe I was part of there's, there's rocks that just kind of poke out of the water all over the place. This is really dangerous looking, but I'm going here. I think you can see some like off to the right, unless those are ships too, but, um, they just poke, there's just a little, like, you know, just a rock poking out of the water and, you know, you'd run your ships aground on them or stuff. But, but what we would do is we claim those and we would build off pillars out of the ocean around the rock. And that's how we, um, oh, good Lord. Not Yargasil. Yargasil is, um, is really bad. That's, that's like, a, you got to have mythic ships to beat him, which we do not have. This looks like an interesting little POI point of interest. Could be a cool little base place. No trees here. Doesn't look like. I'll suddenly start seeing cannonballs coming my way from this being a pirate installation or something like that. Um, oh Lord, there's all kind of stuff. Oh, 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 um, um, this might be a bad place to be with only a bow and arrow, but you know what? We're exploring. We are exploring and we're going to find out what's here. Boop. You like that? How I just kind of like drifted in. I, I, um, must, must be, uh, come here, Wendy. Oh, Wendy's on the bed. That's really a problem. Pick up. I don't want to pick up her poop. I just want to pick up her. I don't want to do that either. Uh, crouch. Uh, he is crouch. Come here. I don't want to fast travel. I want to pick you up. Come here, you. That's what we'll do. We'll whistle. The problem when these animals get, like, the shoulder pets get near. There's, oh, there's cannons up there. Come here, Wendy. Do you follow me? This is, this is good at all. Oh, I don't know about this. This looks like an army of the damned place. Where did my monkey go? Follow me? There you are. Come here. I need you to fling, fling some poo if I need to run and get away from something. See, on Indecent Queens, we don't have um, territory taxation back. We don't have the, um, the towers. Maybe that's what this is. Control point wall. Oh, okay. So this is what this is. This is a control point. I don't know how to take it over. Probably got to take over the pirate bases on that island. We take it over. Oh, I haven't drank any water in a long time. This is not good. 
All right, well, let's go. Let's go get in the boat. See if we can make it over to that island before I die of thirst. Because I didn't bring any water with me. Hey, Decades Dreaming, how you doing? <clears throat> Thanks for coming by. We're, we're exploring the atlas. Putting my single player skills to the test. <laughs> so far, not really working out too well. All right, uh, so we're going to raise the bale here. Bale over here. Get off of there. Going to that island. Going to get there. Wheel and hit W. Here we go. And we have no wind. And the fog coming in. Okay, maybe maybe we'll make it. Don't want I don't want Royal Fortune or Yargasil or Dark Sovereign to interrupt my travel system. I'm not moving very fast. I don't need this out. Let's get this sail turned a little bit. Some wind. Okay. Everybody, uh, if, is everybody staying cool? I mean, I, I don't know what the temperature is where you're at or what time of year it is where you're at. Hey, Max, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're giving it a shot. <laughs> I'm running into some issue with the, with the mod list that I've never had before. And so I'm trying to figure out what that is. I may have to do some offline science. But, you know, it's not going to interfere. It won't interfere with our play tonight. It's just something I got to figure out. Because it didn't used to be a problem, but evidently something has gotten mapped weird. Oh, no problem. Me and my dogs, Jack, we sit out on the back porch in the morning and I come up with um, with my uh, old gamer's wisdom sayings. <laughs> Unless I forget, and then it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, like, oh crap, I didn't put one out. I've done pretty good, though. I used to... Um, I went for a stretch that I probably went, I don't know, about a month doing it every day. Um, going good. And, uh, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, this'll be, this'll be something that I can do every day and, you know, just encourage people and maybe say something funny every once in a while and, you know, entertain folks and, and yeah, just do that. And, and then I, then I messed up and I missed three days and um i was telling nana may my wife and i said you know i feel really bad this is really i i thought i was going to do something that i could you know just keep doing all the time and 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 she said look half the stuff you are saying on those daily wisdoms is don't stop trying keep your head up and if you're you know, have a problem, then jump back on the horse and do it again. And here you are whining because you missed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a pirate ship. I have no wind. All right. We're, we're going to have to figure something out here. Um, yeah. She's like, you're, you're sitting there telling people go back after it if you have a problem instead of giving up and here you are you just you know you missed a couple weeks people will understand do it just get back on the horse and go and i was like all right and so i did and i've been doing it ever since so ooh, i almost jumped off the boat there that would have been bad i've got one sail going one way and one go the other way oh well i don't know if i want to make it hopefully he keeps going that way Oh, there's a shark doing a headstand in the water. Won't be going after that box. Yeah, she's, you know, I don't know why she puts up with me, but we uh we just had our 39th wedding anniversary just uh this month. Yeah. So 39 years plus the years we were dating before that that she's been, you know, I guess hoping she, you know, I'd get better or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she's out there watching tonight. Shut up, Yuli. Shut up. 
Yeah, so next year's the big four zero. Um we found out so there's the here's the here's here's a funny. If you've uh, been married for thirty eight years and you're wondering when the thirty ninth comes, what's the big gift of uh the year? Because you know, every year it's like yeah, gold or silver or linen or whatever. Thirty <laughs> ninth wedding anniversary, there isn't anything. <laughs> Uh, we looked it up. It's like, nope, there's nothing. There's no tradition for 39. <laughs> I think 40 is like Ruby or something like that. But 39 is like, yeah, yeah, it's just 39. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. Appreciate it. NGP. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the lucky one. Cause Nana May got stuck with me. <laughs> She's a good person. She puts up with my uh, my uh, silliness. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I keep telling her that's what the 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 reason that I I have to make sure that we don't ever split up because I can't afford an ex-wife. <laughs> yes, yeah, dolphins. They make me smarter if I'm in the water with them when they're when they're jumping. You can tame them, um, but you got to have bone marrow, which you have to get by killing elephants. And I have not killed anything but a chicken and a pig so far in this playthrough. I don't know what's going to be on this island or where the pirates are going to be at. So there'll be there'll probably be three encampments of AI pirates that will be strung out around this island and my goal will have to be I have to take over all three of those places in order to take over the island if I ever get there which at this point is questionable because I might as well get out and push that is one drawback of this game if you're ever playing it I've never played Sea of Thieves I have Sea of Thieves, but I've never actually played it because it's kind of, I don't know. I'm sure it's a great game. I just, it just looks cartoony to me and I, I have never done it. Plus, I, I, I don't know about the building mechanics there. I like to build bases and to build ships. And I don't know if you can really do that. I think you can probably customize ships. But I don't know if you really build them. So if anybody played Sea of Thieves and they can tell me that I'm full of it, then feel free because. I've never played it, so I can't really say. I, a lot of people do. A lot of people say it's really good. Uh, and a lot of people say Atlas really sucks. I like Atlas. I've never tried to see a thief. But uh, this does have a drawback in that when there's no win, there's no freaking win. And you just kind of mosey on through. They've done a lot of um, things to help with that. So there's there's these things called trade wins that go through the map and help. You know, you get into a trade win and you go a whole lot faster. Even if there's no wind, it's like a current, like a jet stream type thing. Um, but yeah, I'm not in one. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going to make it to this island. And I've got my sails turned the exact wrong way for what I think I want to do. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I might want to go for that that like spire on the left over there. Oh great, foggy. What that means is in a minute it's gonna start raining. Then there's gonna be cyclones and they'll try to sink my boat. So I need to get on shore fast. Oh no, that's not the right way. Um this way. This is what the thing I wanted to do. Can you go any slower, Sail? All right, let's get on here and let's turn a little bit and see if we can't catch just a little bit of wind. Oh, no. That would be turning right into the wind. That was perfect. Perfect. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I was going to go there, but now I'm going to go here. And it's, I'm just going to pray that that dude doesn't see me. But if he sees me... And he starts coming for me. At least I won't have so far to swim this time. <laughs> yeah, it's been spotted. I see him. I see him. Let me get to the land before he gets to me. I think once I land, he will he will leave me alone. I think. I've never had him chase me up onto the beach before. 
I've been playing this game a little bit. Watch more R. R. Kitty in action oriented. Yeah. Arcady, that's what it is. Yeah, okay. I got you. Yeah, see, that's the thing that I like. I like the, the taming the animals and figuring out how to survive and building the base and building the ship, which is one of the things, I mean, they tried and oh, I completely missed this island, aren't I? Distance is dropping. Okay, I'm getting closer. Um, you can tell you're getting close to an island or a rock. There's a little thing down there by my heart that says distance, and it's going down. So the, the water's getting shallower. Hopefully that means I'm getting closer to the island that I, and I'm not overshooting it. But yeah, I like to build the stuff. And one of the things Ark did that made me go away from it, I mean, Ark, Atlas did that made me go away from it was they started putting these modular ships out. Which just, you know, it just plops a ship down. There's no real customization. There's some. There's a little bit, but not much. And when I got back on, I tried some of them, and they, ah, oh, God, they suck. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the beach. We are making landfall. Oh, great. I'm cold. Last beach I landed on, it was hot, and now it's cold. Awesome. How cold? Oh, well, it's not ice cube, so that's a good thing. Um, have some clothes on this time. That's also a good thing. Okay, we're going to make landfall here, and it's going to show us where we are. And say you are on bump a ba Koch Line Isles. Easy Dutchy. How's it going, dude? How are we doing tonight? Good morning. Okay, so it's morning for you. Okay, yep. It's we're 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 making progress. We have we've been to two islands now. Um what is this one? Let's find out what kind of rocks this is. You know what you can do in this game? You can hold down H while you're looking at stuff and it'll tell you what's in it. Limestone, basalt, iron, and geodes. Okay, cool. We have metal here. That's a good thing. We have fir trees. And what do we have here? Um, straw. More straw. So the, yeah, so the the um, the thing with this game is that you you get different resources at different places, and to make some stuff, you need multiple kinds of the same resource. We're gonna we're gonna put a bed down before I get killed and have to go all the way back. We're gonna do that. Uh, what is what this is? Hammock structure, a bed that can be used for resting your head. Um, what is? I want to make it. <laughs> okay, no, no real building. Yeah, that's 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 what I like. I like to build. I don't know what this does. I've never built a hammock before. Probably has to be in a ship. That would be my. Looks like it's got to hang somewhere because you know it's a hammock, so it makes sense. Well, that was race wasted resources. We won't be needing that. Um. Hey, Mark, how we doing? Happy to have you aboard. Uh, we better do some more fortitude here. I don't freeze to death. All right, we're 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 gonna put a we're we're just putting a bed down. That's what we're gonna. There looks like something. I don't know what it is. All right, let's make a let's make a. Foundation. Let's, let's make a bed. I know I have one on my boat, but you know, just in case, better to have two beds than one. We 
where is this? Oh yeah, here. Oh, oh look, piggies. Hey, there's a pig. We have transportation. Get the pig. Get what? Ah, I'm I'm building here. Can you not see that I'm building here? Look, this is important stuff here. All right, there. Okay. All right, so we have a respawn point here and one in the boat. So just in case we run out of, you know, we want, one has to cool down, the other one can be used. Um, 92 pig. Ooh. That's a big pig. What are you? You're a level four. Well, we know which one we want, right? We want to 94. Because his stamina will be much better than the level four one. And he will protect us from snakes. Come here, piggy. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. It's going to take a minute. I do have that taming <laughs> boosted. So it's not as bad as official, but it will take a minute. Yeah, it's a minute. Sleep bird. Ah. Uh, I don't really need a parrot. Parrots are cool because if you put one on your shoulder, you can go diving in the water and you don't use as much oxygen. Monkeys fling poo. Parrots help you underwater. I can't remember what the seagulls do. There's another minky over there. I bet he's a higher level monkey than I got. Let's go see. Let's go see what, what kind of level this monkey is. Because... Oh, he's level 20. He's not that much higher. This dude, this guy's a, he's a beast. <laughs> they just steal your chips. Mine, mine. Um, yeah, what are the shoulder pets do they have in this game? I can't remember what all of them are. Almost got him. Almost got transportation. Sun's coming up. We get him tame. Then we'll take a look at the island. Just see what's going on here. I, there should be a way for me to look and see if there's any, where the pirate camps are. If we're not in danger here, there we go. Um, we have a pig. We need a name for the pig. Uh, this is a... Come here. What are you? Are you a male pig or are you a female pig? You are a male pig. 137. Who would like to name our first pig? Well, not our first pig because we have two that we left back in Freeport. <laughs> our first pig of Cochline Isles. Is it Cochline? 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 I'm afraid of what it might be. So we're just call it the island. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Parrots do keep the heat off of you. Oh, crows. Crows make you um, boost your intelligence, right? When you're crafting and stuff, I think. All right. Name for the pig. Looking for a name for a pig. Let me see. Let me look at the map. What do we got here? Um, let's look at the Atlas map. Bacon. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. All right. Okay, so it's not showing me any... Oh, they're over here on this side of the island. So we should be good on this side to put us a little base down. The water is pretty deep, pretty close to shore. So that's good. This is the shallow end. We don't I'll put us pier out here thinking this, this, this might be a good spot. See how deep the water is out here. Just to make, nope, nope, nope. You stay here just for a second. I know, I know you want to be my friend now that we're best friends. But, uh, oh, wow, that's a lot of rocks in the water. Huh. 
Uh, oh, man. I can feel a boat getting busted out from underneath me right there. Well, darn. let's see. Um, let's look over here. Just, just, just for kicks. Oh yeah, this is much better. This is much better. Nice sandy bottom. Uh, more rocks there, but that's all right. I think, I think if we come over this way and put our dock there, we'll be fine. Hello, fish. Die, fish. Back here. No, you're not taking my freaking arrows. This is my favorite part. Watch this. This is funny. This is so funny. I'm not as small as I usually make my characters. But. <laughs> That's a big fish. <laughs> That's the little things in life. All right. Let's drop him and get my arrow back. Get my arrow. There we go. All right. I don't like playing third person. It's really going to kill me when art comes out in third person. I don't know. Maybe it won't be so bad. Conan's the third person. It's not so bad. But, I mean, I don't like being this far away from my... I like to be, like, over the shoulder if I got to be in third person. It has to be. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a basic um, little shelter here. I just want to make sure I'm not, I don't have any metal nodes over here that I might mess up. Because you put your foundation in, it's going to jack up your your um, nodes. I don't see anything particularly awesome. All right, so we can build in, in the, um, the wood stuff. So, this is how I would like to do it. At least I don't have to worry about being thirsty right now. Um, I'm going to need wood. And I'm going to need thatch and fiber. Some wood. Um, fiber. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the whole immersion thing. I, I mean, it doesn't have to be first person, but it just, to me, that's, that's what makes it, I mean, especially like in ARC, <coughs> you're playing with dinosaurs and, and the, in the first person piece of being able to look up at that big, huge Rex that you just tamed, that's part of the coolness of the game. So I don't know if that's going to be, I, I know there's people that play in third person. I know, I don't know if she's on here. Meryl plays in third person all the time. And there's people who do that. I, I mean, in the writing is third person for most of the stuff on art, but I just, I don't know. I like, I like to be able to look like I'm doing here over my, over my little, uh, patch it or whatever else I'm using to cut things down and, and see what I'm doing. Four. All right. So we're going to make I'm just going to make three. Wow. Big deal. Okay. Well, we're going to make a three by six is what we're going to do. At least for starters. Just to have a place we can put our our stuff up in. That looks really cool. I just don't know how to hang it up. All right, so let's do this. Um, not really sure where I'm going to put the pier or the dock or whatever you want to call it. What I don't want to do is bury this stuff. Okay. What? Okay, well, I guess we'll go over here. Chop you up. Dude, hit it. It's right there. 
Okay, that's better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to jump on a fire here in a minute. Kill myself and get my get my uh, vitamins straightened back out because there's no way I'm gonna eat all that food. Make some more foundations. Six more. So the goal with this is just going to be big enough for me to have a place to put a smithy and a tannery and, you know, the basic workstations down. And then I will put a dock over there. And then, you know, what will happen is this, um, this little building will probably end up being either disassembled later or that's right. Good. Okay. Or, uh, turned into a trap or something. I want to make it, I could go over this way some more. I don't think I can. Nope. And I can't sink pillars here, which is a pain them. But all right, well we'll make a we'll make a door there. That'll work. I can fix this. Let's get let's get some wood so just fiber. I mean thatch. Alright, so yeah, so the goal is you wanna have enough room to put your crafting stations that you need to start off with in. Otherwise, just kind of, uh, you know what I can do. This works a little bit different than art. Because in art, you can tell a ceiling tile from a foundation, but in here, Not so much. Look at that. See? That's awesome. Alright, cool. Okay, so we got our basic rectangular structure here. Um, so what do we need? We need a we need a smithy. So what do I need to make a smithy with? Uh metal. Okay. Got metal on this island, so let's I mean that in the rocks so far. Not a lot. Oh, oh, yeah. Box. That's what we need. A box. I love the sound effects. It always makes me relax to hear like the beach, the, the beach critters. Yeah. Yeah. The wide angle. I, I, I kind of go back and forth on it. I, 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 I want it to be big enough that it's not that it's good periphery, but I don't like the fish eye type. Once you get to that, it's too big. It it plays with my eyes. Let's put a box down. We gotta we gotta put some stuff in here. Box. We'll move this later. For now, we'll put it right here. So I think we're going to pick up a lot of junk. Especially rocks. All right, so we're not... we got to get more metal. Need more metal. Right. Need... Save that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Cut down on some weight here. Do need that. Okay, yeah. That'll help a little bit. I gotta bust some rocks up. Where's where's a good metal type rock? This one will be. There's some iron. Okay, that's enough beating on that rock. Let's let's make our smith. Have enough stuff. 
Uh, there's our hide back. Probably got to have some rocks. Smithy. You can put a lot of stuff in a smithy, too. Um, one of these is small. I don't want that one yet. But I'm just gonna break this one. Oh, so hot. All right, so another trick that you can use to make sure your stuff lines up is if you go into K, hold K down, it'll let you uh, get a better zoom out perspective. Kind of, it's the same thing in art. But that way you get to line your stuff up so that it actually fits and it's straight because you know if pig starts watching and it's not straight he's going to call me out on it oh i'm overheating again that's good that'll work all right i got a camo dump some of this stuff off yeah, I'm losing health. That's not, that's not good. Okay. Take a dip in the ocean. I'll cool myself off a little bit. Ain't gonna last long. Yeah, it's really not helping. All right, well, let's get some walls put up. Maybe that'll help. I thought I left this the the desert video for x one I think we'd be dying of heat again. All right, so we're just going to, we're going to do something simple. We're going to just make some walls. Fuck wall. What? Why can't I make? Oh, I need that. Seriously? A lot more thatch than that. One wall. Great. Okay. So yeah, you know. Whatever. One wall. I hear my heartbeat already. I'm gonna die soon. I need to die anyway. Alright, so uh an arc you uh I mean Atlas you a wall is lots of different things. A wall or a window wall if you press T or a doorway if you press T again. That's what we're gonna put there. Um and okay. What are we lacking? Everything. I can't carry much. I need to level up weight or something. Okay. Or is it, he's just tired. He's tired. It's it's hot. He needs some lemonade. Starting to bleed. I see the red around my vision. Got a lot more resources when I can get some metal tools. <laughs> I'm gonna die in a minute. Do I have a bed over here. I got a bed over there. I'm good. Good. Fine. Everything's good. All right. So let's put some more walls up. Once we get the walls roughed in, life will get some. Then we can put a roof over our head. Since it's just us, put windows out. Because I don't have to worry about somebody throwing grenades through them or something like that. Yep, dying. Gonna die soon. 
head back over to my bed so that I won't have so far to go when I wake back up. Need to reset my vitamins anyway. That looks like a different kind of rock. What is this? Probably not. It's not. It's just scenery. Just scenery. Go ahead, die already, dude. Jeez Louise. Stop your whining. Almost there. Oh, that's a cool looking parrot. Yeah. See your parrot. If you were over here, you could be protecting me, but you're not. Yep. This is what happens when the heat gets you. <laughs> oh. I thought I was going to pass out today. I was out doing yard work. Man, it was freaking hot. Respawn at bed. Okay, let's do that. No! Well, that's not even funny. Oh, uh, awesome. And I'm still in the world. <laughs> oh, that's painful. As I said, when I started the stream up tonight, <laughs> I was having problems crashing the game when I would log off. It would, I mean, it wouldn't do anything until I was logging off, but it would go into this fatal error thing. And so before I did the stream this week, I went and verified all my files on Steam and there was 1,036 files that needed to be redone when I did the verification. So I got that fixed. I thought we were good. Evidently, there's a little bit of an issue. Single player. Let's get back to it. Since it's my game, I don't have to worry about getting back in and some, you know, not being in the map anymore. Winter time there. Where where are you about in the world there, Mark? I'm in Virginia in the U.S. and um, July and August. Um, it's just it's just muggy, gross, hot. Oh, you're in Australia. Ah, okay. I know some people in Australia. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, you know, I, was I, I started doing the verification and said I had that many files to do. And then it's like, oh crap, am I going to be finished fixing this by the time the stream started? But it, it didn't take long. It was, it was not a bad situation, but I don't know. Something's not quite right yet. I, I'm going to have to tinker under the hood, I think figure out what's going on because it shouldn't be doing this it wasn't doing it before so i'm thinking that there may have been a mod that updated that didn't properly maybe there's a glitch with it but i'll find out most of the mods that i run are also run on um indecent queens and so I, I, I have a resource I can go out there and look at. And by the way, if you're looking to play Atlas and you want to play with other people, um, the link is in my description below for the Indecent Queens website. And they run Atlas servers and ARC servers. And they're public servers. You can go on. It doesn't cost you anything to play. But um, what did it do? Oh, wow. It, it kicked me back in time. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh yeah, now I gotta die again? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, this better not do the same thing again, or I'm gonna be really upset. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're interested in playing, you know, with other people, and they they have PVE servers, they run some PvP events every once in a while, but um, but yeah, primarily it's PV, PVE, and they're good people to play with. Um, and you can get your island, you can uh, claim an island, you can do, you know, 
Um, oh, what is that? That is a treasure box. Right there. I gotta get it. I, it's You know, there's no point in me getting it. It's not really there, probably. It's probably... I'm dead again. Now, hopefully it won't crash this time. Let's finger... Let's cross... Let's all cross our fingers. See, that didn't come up last time. So I think there was a there was an issue. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Look at that. Okay, let's get this box and my stuff. Give me my stuff. Oh, wait, where'd my body go? You can't, ah. Oh. See, it used to be you could like, you know, hack up your own body, get some hide and stuff, but I guess you can't do that anymore. You know what I am going to do? I'm going to take this bed. What do you mean? Why can't I pick it up? Did I not make a spuck bed? Oh, uh, that's not good. Okay. Well, I guess I won't move this bed. <laughs> okay. Let's go back in here and do this part over again. Let's do the windows. Let's see. What is it? Did I, did I reset? It did not reset my stuff. Well, that's weird. Let's drink some berry tea. What will this do? Uh, soothing and delicious. Increases vitamin A. Vitamin A, I'm actually doing okay on. What I need... Oh, you know what I got? I got onions over here. That's what I got. I can eat them. I got lots of coconuts. What am I doing? I got coconuts. That's yellow. Um, And I need some fish. Got fish. Eat the fish. Now I'm going to start getting a belly ache. Yep. All right. That's all right, though. I got them in. Now I got my vitamins back. All right. So now, um, let's put these up. Okay. So we're going to put windows here. Then we can see out. Put a window there and a window. Um, here, window here, then I can put up, no, not there, get up, hurry up, okay, we're going to put a window here, actually, you know, I like to look at the ocean, I'm going to put all windows, okay, there I can look out at the ocean while I'm crafting my, um, you know, stuff to destroy stuff. Let's get some of this stuff. Oh, cilantro. There's some more yellow stuff. See, I, there's all kinds of things. This is a great island. Things can be fine here. We're fine. <laughs> you can laugh at me, Mark. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm at, at, at 60 years old. Um, I, it doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> I'm I'm just surprised people come and watch my videos because they. I mean, a I really appreciate. It. I appreciate the people that uh, come and watch and the ones that that uh, favorite the video or what do you no like the favorite. Jeez, what am I? I don't even know what I'm talking. But yeah, like the videos and 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 people that subscribe to the channel. I I started this thing. What, February, not this past February, but the February before that, I retired from my job and I told Nana May that I'm retiring or a little bit early, but we had some stuff. I mean, her dad wasn't doing good. My parents weren't doing good. And we're like, you know, we, we just can't keep doing this, this going to hospitals and, and that, and, and then working full time and doing everything. So we both retired to basically take care of our parents and, and so I said, well, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this video uh, YouTube channel on gaming because, you know, there's probably some other old people out there that like to play games. Maybe. <laughs> and I had no idea that people would even watch. And here we are like a year and a half later and I'm almost to a partner. I, I just blows my mind. I can't, I can't hardly get my head around it. I'm almost to, what have I got? 677 subscribers and 
three thirty five hundred watch hours. So I'm almost there, and I, I'm I'm like I just I can't believe it. I'm so thankful that that people um watch my videos and and enjoy them. I'm guessing they're enjoying them because they come back. Y'all y'all come back. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm hoping it's time entertaining. So yeah, feel free to laugh. I'm fine with it. Oh, I gotta put my clothes back on. Run right here, naked. I'm happy to provide some entertainment and something to distract people from what the heck is going on in the world because it's crazy. And if I can, if I can do something that gives people a break from that, I'm, I'm tickled to death. All right, let's make some more, let's make more walls. I don't know if I need eight walls, but we're making eight walls. I'm going to do this two stories, so we'll be okay. I have an extra wall or two. All right, so put a window here. Two. And window there. And then we're going to put some... You know what? Let's just put windows all the way around. Let's, let's be able to look out. The only problem with windows in this game that I've found so far is there's alphas. Everything that has an alpha. And there's alpha parrots. And they're not really aggressive. They they don't they're not aggressive parrots. <laughs> but if they get into your base and they get stuck, they are not happy. And and bad things happen. <laughs> uh, let's get uh, sloping. There we go. And let's get sloping the other way. Okay. That, see, that works. Then we'll put a little roof on it. It'll be nice. You know, for now. This is this is the place to just hang out, right? And and drink some rum. Sit on the beach. Enjoy the breeze. It is. I have played Ark since beta. I have probably, oh God, easily four to 5,000 hours playing Ark. That's probably not something to brag about. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of hours playing Ark. Between PlayStation, because that's where I started playing, it was on PlayStation. And then going over to computer, um, yeah, I got a lot of hours in Ark. And, um, and I love it. It's, 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 I tell people it's my happy place because it is, I, I, I can get on there and I can and just kind of forget about everything, which, you know, none of my, none of me likes to remind me that, um, you know, there's a real world out there that we got, we got obligations. <laughs> Occasionally you have to get off the game, but yeah, I mean it's 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 a great distraction. There's plenty of stuff that that you know. I don't even like to watch the news anymore. Um, she was showing me this thing tonight where some dude, eighty year old dude, gets uh basically coming home after a day at the golf course. I I don't play golf, but you know for those who do have, have at it. But uh yeah, coming home, everything's cool. And this dude accosts him in his in his driveway and basically um, tells him he's gonna kill him if he doesn't give him his give him some good stuff, some valuables. And um, base he picks up a, a, a ice pick out of the garage and holds it to the guy's throat, and makes him take him to his house and and to get his valuables. And they get the guy's got a safe, but he doesn't have a <clears throat> can't get in the safe because the key get this the key is in his gun cabinet so of course when he opens the gun cabinet the guy grabs a block pistol that's laying there and um holds that to the guy's head and says you know you give me all your stuff and uh, so he convinces the guy for whatever reason that he, that he needs to go out into the garage and when he goes out in the garage he tricks him into hitting the the button to open his garage door and he runs out when the garage door opens, he runs out and across the street to a neighbor's house and the whole way across the street that the people's, you know, video ring cameras and stuff are, are recording this. The dude is like trying to shoot the guy 
I mean, he just, just middle of the day, he's, but the gun wasn't loaded. So he keeps trying to fire it and it keeps, you know, misfiring and he keeps cocking it and trying to, I mean, he gets right on top of the guy and he's pulling the trigger at this gun that doesn't go off. Had it, had it been loaded, you know, that would have been gone. And for what? Ah, it just, it just blows my mind these days that, that, um, that that's what's going on out in the world. I think that's what I want. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, that is what I want. Not really what I want. I mean, I like, I'm going to make some better stuff later, but this will do. This will keep the sun off of me, which is basically what keeps killing me in the tropics. So, yeah, I mean, and, you know, that's the world we live in. These, ooh, that's a 64 monkey. Get it. Get him. He's, he, I'm never going to get this guy. Oh, it's a female. Ooh. And I have two. I have baby monkeys. Be careful. These things are really skittish. I mean, the 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 Mesopithecus and Ark is skittish, but these guys, my God, these guys are crazy skittish. Trick is never let them look you in the face. Back away. Wait a little bit and go back in. Like I said, I got the rates boosted on training because y'all don't want to see me walking around looking at a monkey's butt for like an hour and a half. <laughs> there we go. Got him. For her. All right, so now we have a monkey pair. Okay. Come on, monkey. I, I, I can't pick you up. Oh, can I pick you up? I can. That's because I left the other monkey where I died, which was... Oh, pig! I forgot about pig! Come here, pig! Hey, piggy. This way. The house is over here now. Look at this. We're getting a... We're getting a... We're getting a family here. We got a pig. And we got some monkeys. I'm going to keep this one on my shoulder though while I finish building. So, uh, so yeah, but Ark is, is always been a game that ever since I played the first time, I was like, oh man, this is cool. And that was on public servers and public servers are, can be a salty mess. I mean, I was getting murderated a lot until I finally said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm making my own servers. And so I do, I have servers. If, if you're playing ARC and you want, you're looking for a PVE group to play with. Um, I currently have three servers up. I have Fjordor and I have, um, the Island and I have Lost Island. The Island is getting ready to get closed down for a while because September I'm going to run an event map where we'll have some challenges for everybody to do on a map that nobody, well, I'm saying nobody's played. I don't think people play because it's a, it's a modded map. And I don't think anybody that's playing with us has played it before. So that'll be cool. And if you're interested in doing it, the link to my discord is in the description below. You can go hit us up on the discord and then go to the arc channel and it's got all the details on the server and the password and all that kind of stuff i don't put it out as public because i like to know how many people are playing because that tells me how many slots i need to have um instead of you know just paying for slots that nobody's using so um right now i i, I can have 10 people on at a time and we usually have about five or six on at a time is the max but there's room for more and if we get start getting people queued up then i'll i'll add slots to it but, but we have a good time and it's everybody that's on it is, is we got some people that are tribed up with my group and then there's people that are playing that are not tribed up and there's people that have their own tribe 
Um, I'm not particular. I don't, you don't require you to join up with us. I just like to know who's playing. Oh, Beth. <laughs> I don't know, Mark. That sounds kind of fishy to me. <laughs> uh, I tease. Tease. It's okay. We have fun here. That's the goal. That's the thing that when I started the channel, like I said, you know, when I, when I started doing this, I was like, I, I, I don't know that I'm going to ever do make any money doing this, but I want to have a place where people can go and have fun and, uh, and hang out and relax. And, and that's why I do the servers. I've been doing servers for probably geez, five years or so. And I only need four. So, I mean, I do that just so that people can have a place to go that they're not, you know, getting uh, murderized by PvPers that are just out there to make the day bad. I, I mean, I, I'll, I've played PvP. It's not something I, I really play a lot of just because I'd rather spend my time building stuff and not having to worry about somebody blowing it apart while I'm offline. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I... I <clears throat> Oh no, I broke my pick. Can I fix it? I don't know if I got, I don't think I have flint. Oh, I do. Okay. Fix. Um, might as well fix this too, because it's about busted. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do when I started doing the servers. And, and then I, I really was so that me and my son and son-in-law and friends of ours could play and have fun. And that's kind of the whole motto that I have is I'm, I'm out here to have a good time. That's, that's what it's all about. Life's full of things to make you miserable. Gaming should not be one of them. <laughs> I thoroughly believe if you buy a game, if you go out and buy a game and it sucks, then you need to pull the cord on it and say, I'm out. Or does it, uh... I'm not, I'm not interested. Besides, Ark is so engaging. Lockhart must capitalize on the Ark format. Yeah, I, I just hope. I hope Ark 2 is going to be good. I am I'm going to, I'm, you know, I'll pre-order as soon as it comes out because I'm that obsessed with it. I don't, I've, so here's the thing. I mean, I've said this on some other videos. I've made a pact with myself that I'm not buying um, games on release anymore but arc i'm going to and and i'll probably go ahead and get the battle pass for conan because it's a battle pass it's not like i know what the game is it's not like it's a new game and but i've just had so many bad situations with new games that cost a boatload of money and are a train wreck when they're released not that arc wasn't i mean i all balls fair and glove and war and arc has had its problems and and they have had some glitchy launches on some stuff. I can remember Ragnarok when uh, they <laughs> introduced the Ice Wyverns and they were invisible. <laughs> you couldn't see them. They could kill you, but you couldn't see them. Um, killing. But uh, yeah, I... I... Um, let's see. I think I want to put a ladder there. I can get up on top. Let's do a let's do a hatch. No, no, we're gonna hatch in the middle because that's what I end up doing. I do the hatch there because it seems like it ought to go against the wall, the ladder, you know, because you don't want it like dangling in the middle of the room. But you can walk right through it, and you put it in this near here, and then you climb up, and then you go off the edge and you go through the door. That's not a good thing. Um. But yeah, Ark, I'm going to go, I, I will be buying that when it comes out. And, and I, I hate to, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how much it's going to cost. I mean, people are saying, oh, you know, it's, it won't be bad. I know how much the Explorer pack was when I bought it and it was like $89. Of course you got everything up through extinction, I think. Uh, you didn't get the Genesis content, but still, that was a that was a big ticket price. Um, but yeah, I'll get I'll get Ark and I'll play it. Even though, like I said, I've I've made up my mind. I'm just not buying 
new titles anymore. Because it seems like it's a, it's just a waste of money. Because they, they come out, you got to figure out what's glitching about it, and then figure out how you're going like, to run your machine. Um, it seems in most games anymore, one of the bosses is always going to be some version of... Uh, with ESO, I can't go anywhere long without hearing tormented screams. <laughs> yeah. I've, I, 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 great gamer and another running game content I really like. Oh, God, yes. Flinger Foo. Oh, my, oh, my Lanta. Flinger Foo is like my hero. I watched Flinger when, uh, when he was just starting his, his, uh, soloing the arc series. And man, I learned so much from that guy. And he's so relaxed and easy going. I mean, it's like, you know, it's just, he just has fun and, and he's, and he's down to earth when he's talking about stuff. It's not like he's trying to make it overcomplicated. In fact, he takes some, a lot of things that would be very complicated and makes it just like, Oh, well, that's how it works. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoy watching his videos. I still watch him today. I, he just, he's good. Almost have a house. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, Ark, I'll buy. I, you know, Starfield, I was really hyped about that because I really, really loved Fallout 4. Fallout 76, I liked until I didn't. I mean, it was one of those things where it was cool and then it got really, didn't, yeah, it wasn't cool anymore. Um, Atlas adores a door, so it doesn't matter what kind of door, it works for a window or anything else. So we're just going to make a door. We're not going to put window shades yet. Unless we start having problems with parrots getting in here. There. Look, we're under a roof. Oh, we need, we do need one up here. Um, nope, that's not it. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping I'm not going to be disappointed when art comes out because, uh, it could be, I mean, be a flawless launch. Uh, but so often they are not. All those launches. I need a ladder. Can I make a ladder? I hope I can make a ladder, or else this door is going to be pointless. There we go. There's a ladder. We're we're in like blend. Down. We want a down at a ladder. I don't remember. Not sure which way this door opens. I can move the ladder if I have to. Let's see. Climb up there and see. Look at that. All right. We got like a perch that we can watch. The ships come in from we're set that's awesome oh oh these doors these doors open stop open close configuration we are not going to do this auto open stuff uh close close auto close only there we go close this one i don't mind being auto open just because it'll be easier Okay, so so we have some things we got to re. Why is it not closing now? It's supposed to be auto close. What is the deal here? Okay, maybe if I open it, go down, it'll close. <laughs> Y'all saw me put it on auto close, right? Did I not? Oh lord. Uh, open close configuration auto close only that's what it says auto open only auto open and close i don't want it to open you know what fine no automation how's that fix that problem okay Yeah, Arc 2 is supposed to be more primitive. I don't know if they'll what they'll end up having, if they'll have like long neck type guns, flintlocks type things or or not. But yeah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be very primitive um as opposed to what Arc 1 is. In fact, I, I don't, you know, I don't like I, I don't like tech. I think it just makes the game too easy and and then it gets boring. But um, the Fjorder server that I run, uh, we 
what I've set up is that if you're going to use tech, you need to put tech somewhere where it's, <clears throat> it blends into the background so that it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's magic. Uh, I can eat that, right? What did I get? Salt. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that they're doing, going in that direction with, um, with art two, that it won't be all techified, useless. Have that in there. Okay. All right. That's full. Oh, I need to put campfire down and cook this campfire. <laughs> oh, I got resources. Okay. What's in there? And we'll put this in there. That in there. And we'll put this in there. There we go. See, I know it. We're gonna put this. Um, we're not gonna put it there. We'll put it right here. That way, when we come in the door, we can drop our our uh, food off and cook it. Wood. This up there. Who can meet? Look at that. We're all cozy in here. Oh, we got a bed. We got to put a bed in here. That's the one thing we don't have. Let's see if I can put it in here. See what happens with this. Good. Good. Can do it. Ah, I probably got to load. Dang it. Looks cool though. Um, let's see. Need some hide. I uh, don't need these rocks. That. Really don't need all those. Okay, so we're gonna make a quick bed, and uh, and that way we have a spawn point in here. Yeah, I mean, it, art can really get get on your nerves if you're playing on a server where people are being jerks. Just saying. <laughs> they would do. I get playing. I get, I get PVP. I mean, I, the, the event map that I'm going to be running in September is going to be every, it's going to be a, um, what do you call that? Every man for himself type thing where everybody's, there's no tribes and we'll be contests and we'll see who, who, um, who finishes at the top of the list on the, at the end of the month. And I'll, you know, I'll come up with some sort of prize for whoever wins. Kind of like we did. We had a, a breeding contest in February for Valentine's day to see who would, who could breed the coolest creatures. Um, but this will be more of a competition on different things and, and there'll be some PVP aspects in it, but I don't like when you can just take something that somebody spent weeks and weeks building and then just destroy it especially when they're not even there online and it's just it, it kills me that's that's really one of the things that I, that kind of turned me off of of atlas was was that kind of behavior um uh, i don't want to put the bit we'll put it right here it's you know it's in the way but you can walk through it so it doesn't matter it doesn't look great, but I'm going to fix it because I'll probably put it on the roof up there and it stays out of harm's way. Um, but yeah, uh, that's why I do my own servers. I, I'd like, I like to be able to play the game, build the stuff I want to build. Other people can build what they want to build. They don't have to worry about getting torn all the pieces because somebody comes in and blows their stuff up and just have a good time. All right, dude, you're going to come over here. I'll make you some feeding trough at some point, but not right this minute. All right. Well, it is midnight here at, at the Hacienda. And uh, I know this is, you know, middle of the week for folks. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of wrap things up for tonight. Thank you so much for coming out here. I really, I, I really can't express how much I appreciate the fact that people come out and watch my videos and just hang out and talk about video games. That's cool to me. I've been playing video games since Pong, since they first came out and you had to code them yourself and, and to see where they've gone 
<laughs> at this point and uh and where things have gotten to i mean it it blows my mind that it's so cool but uh so i'm i'm just tickled to death that i can do this that i can make videos uh they can do live streams and people come out and watch them and, and have fun because that's what it's all about to me it's just getting together and having a blast so thank you so much for coming tonight and uh you know y'all take care of them have a good rest of the week stay safe and, um, yeah, come back and see us Saturday night. We're going to go, I'm going to go back to, uh, star sand and the desert and see what's next in store for us there. But, uh, I'll continue this Atlas series and, um, then we'll throw some arc in. I've got some ideas on some, some pre-recorded content I want to put out on arc. So I'll probably be doing that this week and, and have that up before the weekend. I hope I'm fingers crossed. We'll see how things go. Anyway, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Y'all take care. And uh, this is Yuli signing out.